Hello and welcome to another episode of Quasi's Corner with me, Quasi. Today we're going to be talking about an interesting subject, one that is not usually talked about, uh, especially among the less discerning drummers. So we're going to talk briefly about it, maybe enlighten you somewhat concerning beaters. All right, so today I'm going to be uh, demoing these beaters on a stock head, um, which is the equivalent of a... Um, Power Stroke 3, so it's like the stock uh, Power Stroke 3 that would come with the uh, Pearl Decade kit. So it's a Pearl Decade bass drum, uh, 20 inches, and um, like I said, it's the stock heads on there, uh, front and back. Um, we've done this just to make things as clear as possible. You know, you don't want to put a specific head in there that leans towards a certain kind of sound. So uh, that's all up in there. You're going to be hearing it from the side of the bass drum as well just so the focus is on you know the impact of the bass drum on the head so you can see that up next all right All right, so first of all, you have the humble standard felt beater. Stag provide one of these, as well as uh, a few other companies, but uh, this is a Stag one. Um, good attack, not too much. Um, Well-rounded, warm. This is the staple of most drummers everywhere. So uh, you're gonna see that on this. Second of all, we've got uh, another felt beater, however, a little bit more fancy. So uh, this is a Ludwig one, and uh, this is available here at Shack as well. Um, quite a bit harder than the uh, Stag one, so quite a bit more attack, still maintaining a certain degree of warmth, but uh, the attack's there. You're going to see that next. up you got your standard beaters wood beaters you've got a stag one here and then you've got this DW one here um, quite a bit of attack from both a lot more um, than the, uh, the felt ones um, you've got that slight tackiness upon hitting the, uh, the surface of the drum um, obviously this one's a bit wider so it's spread a bit better this one's a bit more focused a bit smaller um, and yeah, this one's maple, this one's not. I don't know if you quite hear that in the in the bass drum as you hit it, but uh, you can be the judge of that. You see those up next. Okay, next up we have the Woolen Beaters. This one right here on my right is the uh, Vitkick VKB3 Fleece Beater. Um, very fuzzy, very soft. And then next to that we have the Ludwig Lamb's Wool Beater. Um, this one I would say is a bit softer because there's more of it around the actual beater itself. This one is still very soft and uh, obviously being Lamb's Wool it has that degree of woofiness to it, you know. So 
some jazz drummers <laughs> tend to uh, go for this. Um, we've had quite a few come in looking to fit out with the old school um, bass drums and the and all that kind of stuff. So, you know, um, goes well with like fiber skins and calf tones. So, little tip there. So next up we have the VKB1 uh, kick beater, this is called Radial Beater. Basically it's called that because you can <laughs> angle it straight ahead or you can make it flat for a different type of uh, impact on the drum. Um, it works, it's not just a fad and you've got the new felt or wood, this one being the felt one that you're going to see and hear demoed up next. Okay, last but not least, we have uh, the uh, Tama bass drum beaters, the new uh, batch that they've made. They look very odd, they look very odd indeed. However, these are my favourite, especially this one here on the right hand side. Um, this one's uh, rubber, this one's uh, felt. Um, a lot of attack. This one's got this kind of, I don't know, because it's got this kind of gel against the surface of the drum. You've got that bottom end and it kind of spreads against the uh, surface of the bass drum and so you've got that kind of almost like a low end splat which, uh, which is great and it's got great articulation so uh, this one to look at. On the other hand you've got uh, this felt one which also has a kind of low end um, but without the splat but it's very warm and articulate and uh, very focused so you've got the best of both worlds there so you're going to see that next. Thanks for watching, if you like what you've seen, uh, please do not hesitate to contact us, come in the shop, take a look at some of these beaters, uh, see what's good for you, um, is there a sound that kind of relates to uh, what kind of style of music you're doing now, you know, I don't know, you know, and hopefully from one of these you uh, will help you enhance further um, the sound that you're trying to achieve. Uh, so I uh, hope that helps and we'll see you later. Take care.